Okay, great. Can everyone see my screen or probably just one of you? It's perfect. Is that right? Great. Okay, good. All right, I'll get going. So um, good evening, everyone. My name's James Russell, uh, co-founder and CEO of Brisk. Um, my background is insurance, so uh, I know a couple of people on the call. Um, and and I guess like many people working in insurance, um, there was a lot that is great about what um, the likes of Aviva and other insurers do. But uh, in the last few years, I became increasingly frustrated that um, big insurers could be doing more for small and medium sized businesses. Uh, and I think it's probably even more pertinent now in a volatile and uncertain world. Um, and we're seeing firsthand it's really tough for small and medium sized businesses to stay strong and to survive. So Brisk is a technology platform that is uh, aiming to help businesses protect their business in a completely new way. So looking at the, the holistic health of their business, protecting them as a whole, not just the parts that their insurance policy covers and ultimately helping them to become more resilient. Because what we're seeing right now is the harsh reality that insurance falls short when it comes to protecting businesses, especially SMEs. So some stats here, uh, the FCA did a study a couple of years ago, 56% of businesses don't understand the insurance cover that they have. Uh, between 60 and 80% of businesses are actually underinsured. They're becoming increasingly targeted by cybercrime and the uh, Prince's Trust did a survey and found that 43% don't have adequate disaster recovery plans in place. And our first client, this is a quote from, from him saying, actually, insurance is only one thing that he has to look at. He's got a whole load of stuff that he has to, to stay on top of to keep his, his business safe and running um, securely. So there are 5.8 million small, medium-sized businesses in the UK, uh, and frankly, they deserve better. Uh, they have 101 things to do. Most don't have a risk manager. Actually, 72% don't employ a qualified accountant. They can't possibly stay on top of everything. So uh, some more stats here, 61% feel underserved and undervalued, particularly by uh, large service providers. Um, nearly 90% of high ambition companies would actually pay for a service that helps them free up their time so they can focus on what they want to be doing. And when it comes to insurance brokers, uh, nearly 70% are actually looking for integrated risk assessment tools and, and ways that they can be uh, far more efficient and effective as advisors to businesses. So, um, my, as I said, my background is insurance, actually also consulting um, and came up with the concept of Brisk um, back in about 2017 while I was at Aviva uh, and then teamed up with uh, my co-founder Greg Duffield on the one hand because I wanted to do something about insurance uh, and recognize that small medium-sized businesses were, were, were really an underserved group uh, and Greg as a business owner himself was feeling firsthand the frustration running uh, the fleet transport software business Proteo that he was the CEO of so we got together uh, we launched Brisk in 2018. We were part of a startup incubator uh, in London in 2018. Uh, we then got our, our first investor involved, uh, a guy called John Levine, uh, who has launched a number of businesses. Uh, two of them have floated, um, and he's on the team now. And we've actually teamed up with his one, well, one of his companies, Satua, that is a robo advice uh, company for um, wealth management and we're using some of their tech and bringing that to the small, medium-sized business owner. We're a team of six uh, based in Norwich. So this is what we're building. It's effectively a smart protection assistant for business. So we're pulling in data about a business from multiple sources, including the business's own data. So a bit like clear score for your individual financial um, Did we lose, James? Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you, John. Yeah, still hear me. Okay. All right. Keep, yeah, shout out if you lose me. Um, we pull in data about you that's available from external sources, but also we can connect to your internal data, your accounting um, software, for example. And then what we're effectively creating is um, a smart protection assistant, a, a dashboard, which is giving you a summary view of how the world sees you, your key metrics around financial security, reputation, etc and then a clear action feed of things that 
you really should be doing as a, as a small business. Um, we're trying to help businesses save time and build resilience so they can really focus on what they want to be doing. So in terms of finances, we'll bring in uh, your credit rating. If you connect your finances, again, we use one of our partners to do that analysis about the financials and give you that assessment of health. And then where there may be some cash flow issues, um, we can then flag those as alerts. We can also monitor your customers and suppliers. So again, looking for any potential supply chain vulnerabilities um, or, or clients that, that might actually be um, at risk of not paying an invoice. We're looking at your online uh, cybersecurity and again, highlighting where there might be particular um, tasks, things to improve. Uh, we can, you can either use Brisk's internal people um, management tools or actually connect to your HR platform. And again, it's those highlights around potential uh, people or well-being issues amongst your team. And then actually providing people access to, to support. So in this case, this is a, a well-being portal that we've partnered with, um, which is proving really popular at the moment, given lots of people being at home. Uh, we also have an insurance builder um, where we are helping businesses use that risk profile to then uh, help them get insurance cover that, that matches their need. And then we have something called Brisk Plus, which is essentially a marketplace where we're connecting businesses um, to actually help them make connections. So you'll see safe point at the bottom there. If you've got loan workers, well, let's help you. Let's help the business connect with, some, with a, a business that can help you out. Frankly, a £17 billion market needs a better solution. So we launched Brisk in 2019 and we feel that we're filling a gap. Um, rather than being a, a sort of reactive insure tech business like Compare the Market or Money Supermarket where you can go and click to buy insurance, we want to be far more proactive and actually combine intelligent risk analysis with insurance. On the left, there are a number of specialist solutions that do a really good job of things like cash flow management or cybersecurity or online reputation monitoring, but they're, 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 they're niche and they're fragmented. And the feedback we get from small businesses is they haven't got time to go to lots of different dashboards. They want things brought together. So we feel that we're actually protect, connecting the, the protection ecosystem. So from being a, a protection advisor to the small business, our Early adopters were actually um, insurance brokers, accountants, cybersecurity advisors who can use the same real time data profile that Brisk creates to actually help them advise their clients, save time and be more proactive. We can use the same data to reduce the form filling and then working with a number of insurance providers, we can provide that real time flow of data, which helps them um, tailor and customize the, the cover or the products that they provide to their clients. Uh, and then we'll get towards this um, utopia of, of an adaptive insurance product that actually flexes and adapts as the business changes. In terms of route to market and opportunity, there, of the 5.8 million SMEs in the UK, um, Brisk really uh, talks to those that are between five and 200 employees. Um, we've currently live with 70 SMEs uh, and we have um, uh, an SME network with 800 members that we're in discussions with to bring them on board. As a business, you pay £25 a month subscription, could be more, could be less, depending on the features that you want. And as a total um, market opportunity with 5% market share, that would, that would give us £8 million of, of income. As I said, we found that our route to market was partly through insurance advisors um, and accountants. So um, we, we also have 56 brokers and advisors uh, registered on Brisk. And we are working with um, two accountancy networks that would give us access to a further 4,000 accountants. They pay a slightly higher monthly subscription. Um, and then probably where we're most busy at the moment is with some corporate clients that have got wind of Brisk and realized that actually as a white labeled solution to their existing client base, this could really help add value to what they do. Um, so we're, we have, a, um, we're actually developing a product for a van leasing client that will go out to three and a half thousand tradespeople and professionals in June. Um, we're working with an employee benefits firm. They want to white label Brisk as a, as a risk portal for their clients. Uh, and we've uh, just started conversations with another risk advisory firm in the last couple of weeks. In terms of um, progress, we launched in February 19. 
Um, and from early pilot, as I said, mostly we had insurance advisors. Um, our first insurance products went live at the beginning of this year. And we expect growth in 2020 to come from those corporate partners that I mentioned. And as we put more insurance products on, um, clearly we can then get to more um, SMEs with not just risk management solutions, but also the insurance that goes with it as well. So that's Brisk. Um, I'd love to take any questions. Uh, we feel particularly proud at this time to be um, supporting a really underserved segment of the community uh, and the economy. Many tech powered apps are becoming more and more accepted by consumers and, and we'll hear about a, a couple today but why not do the same for businesses? We're currently fundraising to capitalize on new opportunities. Um, and I've spoken to many of you already on this session, but please contact me if you're interested in learning more. Thank you.